Hello party people and welcome back to the channel. We are here at the seventh voyage of the Gargantuan's Art Show. Today is the soft opening, I think is what they're calling it. And I'm Actually, here with... calling it the flaccid opening. The flaccid so, yeah. opening. That's the official name. Well, unofficial I love it. name. I love it. The flaccid opening. Soft for some of you. <laughs> flaccid for others. This is our friend Doug Horn. Cheers. And Thanks for coming so, out, Adrian. Adrian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I have a question for you. Yes. I don't know why I've never asked why you before. Why am I bending over? Right, right. <laughs> Get that camera. Try, Come on. You can't see me trying to stand on my tiptoes. I've never asked this before, but why is the show named Gargantua? Um, it's based on... Is it because uh, of you? <laughs> right. Um, the the uh, Japanese uh, Gargantua movies. It's kind of, it, so we did a lot of art jams together, and right. um, what I used to put on bad B-movie uh, stuff, and you know, the Gargantuans movie came up, and... Um, is it, is, it, is, it, is it themed to that or just, just no, not just really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Kind of so the idea, I think, that you have different sections, right? Each section is a particular type of art, right? So we get together, we come up with different subjects, different categories, and it's kind of fun to bounce ideas off each other. And um, so this year we came up with seven different subjects, and um, so we kind of vote amongst okay. each other. All right. Um, and they're just all over the place. Not necessarily tiki, but you know, um, just different different subjects. And so, so tell me fun. about what you you. What are the pieces that you've made? So I've I've, I've I've seen a few, and tell me about the pieces that you've made and what they mean and which one is your favorite. Oh, okay. Um, I really like my Formosa piece, which okay. is the one uh, the. the Japanese woman with the swizzle crown, right, wearing, right. which uh, you know, Nancy was kind of an influence where she makes those swizzle crowns. Right, right. Uh, so that one, you know, I was kind of playing around with a different technique on that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's probably my favorite one. Yeah. Um, I really like my Bitches and Bastards, which is one category, which was um, uh, my uh, Professor Fate, which is from a, one of my favorite movies, The Great Race. And Jack Lemon plays uh, Professor Fate, so he's a particularly fun bastard. Okay. You know, so I really liked him. Oh, uh, very cool. So that's kind of inspired for that movie. Um, I love Ken's big uh, Enchanted Tiki Room piece. It's a big. Uh, oh yeah. Piece, probably about four feet. That's a cool one. Yeah, I yeah. love the colors in that, and that's a real. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. That red background I love it. is I love awesome. It. I love it. Um, Ken Surf or Tom's surfboard is one of my favorites. Oh yeah, that's a good one that too. One. Yeah. I also love McBiff's uh, Enchanted Tiki Room, the sculpture. I really like that one a lot. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. Very nice. So, Very yeah. nice. You like how I'm holding the, this angle right here, so like it it <laughs> emphasizes like how <laughs> much how much camera? how much taller you are. Yeah, yeah, it? you hold there it. There we go. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There, 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 there's, 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 hey everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing right well the there's, the there, there's four of us you're the guy right there's, 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 so there's, there's four artists our friend big toe friend yeah, of the podcast friend of the channel one of my favorite people in the world and one of the talented artists in this particular show i love it thanks man yeah um it's a it's a work in progress yeah um uh, there's there's uh, several pieces in in the show that are uh, still sort of in progress, but um, we're super stoked to be you know getting 
back open and, and having a show again. Well, you know, as an artist, you're always creating, so that's yeah. okay, right? I know that well, there's supposed to be like a certain number of pieces per artist yeah. for this, but it's ongoing. So you're going to be here for a couple weeks still, right? Yeah, we have we have the space for two weeks, and so we're calling this the um, the soft opening to the okay. show. And then you know, there's pieces like this one that um, are are. are just begun and then there's some other pieces that are in progress so that one has already sold yeah and yeah. it's and it's still in progress so somebody bought it just based on the early stages of uh, I love that dude that's kind of cool feel, that's got to feel awesome <laughs> it's, it, right it's it feels awesome but at the same time it's a lot of responsibility because yeah, yeah, you know yeah, I gotta yeah. make sure it's it's good enough. It's a, it's up to their standards. Yeah. what they're expecting when yeah. they yeah yeah. That's pretty cool. So talk to me about the creativity <laughs> about coming up with the, some of the work here because you know art is one of these things where you're all constantly having to come up with something new and interesting. Yeah. So the the reason we the i the the idea behind this show is that. Uh, Doug Horn and Ken Ruzik and I um, have this sort of uh, art jam that we do periodically. Right. And we wanted to have a show that would sort of allow us to flex our creative muscles because right. a lot of what we do is just sort of pigeonholed into to tiki or custom culture. Right, and right. We wanted to do some other pop surrealism sort of themes. So. What we do with this show, and this is the seventh iteration, therefore the seventh voyage seventh of the Gargantuas. Yeah, yeah. So um, we pick a bunch of themes, and then we all sort of riff on those themes, and then it's sort of a a mock competition to see who can do like you know the coolest right, right, version of right. that theme. So this year we have themes like night marchers or a Halloween theme, and. Uh, we did a, a still life. No, um, this one is um, Femme Fatales and Bitches and Bastards. So like a villains theme, and um, over here we have a, a, a mixtape theme, which is so. Anyway, so we pick these different themes to kind of riff on and, and just sort of keep us from getting too myopic in our creative uh, creative process. It's a great way to stay uh, to keep the keep the mind going right right or creatively right because I, I'm sure as an artist you, you hit creative blocks all the time yeah right and so when you do this do you find that it's more challenging because you're mostly known for lowbrow art do yeah. you find it's more challenging to step um, outside that box or do you find it's more stimulating yeah it's more stimulating it, it, okay. it definitely it, it just sort of fires parts of your creative brain that, yeah, uh, yeah. that that don't really usually get stimulated. So it's it's really refreshing. Yeah, I love that. I yeah. love that. So let me ask you. I'm going to put you on the spot. Yep. You know what I'm going to ask you. Nope. I'm going to put you on the spot. Do you have a favorite piece here? Of mine? Uh, of, let's say one of yours uh, and one of your, you know, your uh, I, fellow artists. My, my, my best of show at this point is Ken's enchanted tiki room piece you're the second artist who's oh really said that and at, at two of two so far that and i because i've only talked to doug before you uh -huh. and he said the same thing um well it, it, it's weird it, it's hard as an artist to pick your own personal favorites from a yeah, show yeah 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 uh, because they all have a lot of meaning um so yeah, it's, yeah. it's hard to say which is a favorite yeah. of mine very cool i love it well I always enjoy when you guys put these on. I look forward to seeing what you guys put for these. So, right on. great job as always. Thank you. We're and stoked to have you here. Yeah, thank, thanks for having Desert me. Desert Oasis Room. Thanks. Representing. Thanks. And hey, follow our friend Big Toe. Big Toe Art on Instagram. party people we're with my buddy McBiff and this piece right behind us look at that I love it I love it so what is it called? Femme Fatale so 
Is this the first Gargantua show you've done with them? Yep. It is, right? Okay, so uh, how's the response been so far? I see a red dot on one of your paintings over here. Yeah, yeah, that one's all pretty fast. Dude, I love that. I love it. Yeah. I'm happy. It's so cool, man. So, okay, something I've been asking all of the artists is if you have a favorite piece in the show, it could be yours or it could be one of your fellow artists in the show. I usually always pick somebody else, but my favorite one is one I did, yeah. Okay, alright. <laughs> yeah. well, which one is it? It's called Formosa and it's on the other oh, side. Oh, I love that one. Yeah. It's a Japanese lady getting tattooed. Getting tattooed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so cool. It was so difficult and it took a lot to get. I had to repaint it about three times before, before I got it right. Wow, okay. And I was like, I love it. This is this is what I was trying to go for. You, you ever know, get attached so. to any of these to where you have a hard time just letting them go? To, not anymore. I okay. used to. All right. But now I'm like just just take them. Yeah. I used to like all the earlier stuff I did. I still have a lot of my early stuff because I'm sure. still can't sell it. Yeah, yeah. And it's all hanging in my house. Well, but all this stuff went by. Yeah. It's like, yeah. The shirts. Look at this. Yeah. Endorsed so, by Sven of all people. Uh, <laughs> my, my, my friend McBiff here was kind enough to send me this just a couple of days ago. I was so not only stoked to get it, but honored that he could even considered me to, to, to send something to. So thank you very much. I appreciate it so much. And I love it. I love the colorways. I love everything about it. So the tiki's, the, the puffer fish, uh, everything about it. So, thank you. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, no, I'm keeping it so you know, I can just Four. Oh, no. no. this is my second. I had one, man. And that was Red Bull, man. Oh, I love it. <laughs> talking fast now. Oh, I love it, I love it. So how are you, Adrian? I'm great, how are you? All right. So, your stuff is my favorite. Don't tell any of the other guys. Uh, that's what you told me a minute ago. Thank you. I love like what is going on in your mind. Oh, thanks. I mean, look at this guy right behind us. Oh, well, yeah. That's insane. Yeah. So let me ask you. It's a nice place to visit. Yeah, yeah. I bet it's a lot of fun in there, right? <laughs> Some days. How long does it take you to, to paint something like this? And, Two weeks. Okay, two weeks. All right. And how is that like all day, every day for two weeks? No. Just okay. when it just when it, it hits right here. That's when and then you, you just go. That's when you jump and you at. Go, yeah. and you go. And if it's three o'clock in the morning, I get up and you go. And you, you do, do it. it. Yeah. So how how hard is it to come up with these concepts? Like, do you see this in your head? Sketchbooks. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just, just sketchbooks. I mean, this one took about four variations in the sketchbooks before I thought, okay, I'm going to take this sketchbook entry and this sketchbook entry and combine them and then just sketch it out and go for it. Now, I, I've had the privilege of being in your studio before and seeing all your art. And it's, it's like a true artist's lair, for lack of a better term. I fucking love it. Right? It's, it's what you... Everybody pictures an artist studio to look like. Well, it's hot in the summer, it's cold in the winter, but there's a reference library there, so I don't have to go online because there's so many homogenized. If you Google something, it's homogenized. Right. Everybody sees the same thing, so you have your own reference library. Right. And you can draw something out that is new to you know who the audience. So, do you ever have? Um, so, a couple questions. Do you ever get? Creatively, like a like creator's block. If I do, I'll just read. Okay. I'll, I'll read a classic or you know something else that'll just inspire me. Something that that already is high art. Like I'll, I'll read some Don Quixote and just you find analogies to your own life in these classics. And, and do you ever get attached to any of these? I like kids, and I don't like kids that much. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great answer. That's a great answer. Because I really, the, here's the thing, like, if I had to pick yeah, one, I don't know if I could. Uh, Seriously. What? And there's some great stuff I saw in your studio, too, that I thought, oh, I love that, and I love that, and I love that, and I love that, and I love that. Well, it's that. almost like, if, it, if it's replaced by someone who loves the work enough to own it, then, then you don't feel that loss. Oh, I got you. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah, more yeah. like, oh, good, I'm, I'm helping someone else feel happiness and joy and wonder. You know, right, wonder. right. So let me ask you, you can say your piece 
or you can say one of your fellow artists. Do you have a favorite in the show? Yes, Doug's uh, Pirate Princess, the Asian one. Oh, okay. Love that one. Oh, that's great. That's a great one. So it's funny that you say that because I don't know if you talked beforehand because he said that one of your pieces is his favorite. Which one? The Enchanted, uh, the Tiki. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, Doug. Yeah, so, so there you go. Actually, as a matter of fact. I paid him 10 bucks to say that. As a matter of fact, Tom said that's his favorite too. What? Yeah, so I'm gonna do some more like that then. <laughs> there you go. All right. Thanks for making me look thin. <laughs> you remember Doug?